Well, I couldn't have asked for a better mentor um, to have or a, a better introduction to the process of television. Um, the first thing that you're struck with when you deal with Stephen Bochco is how he does not, uh, for, he demands excellence, and he does not uh, write down to the audience. I mean, he will dare the audience to rise up um, and follow a complicated plot. He will not say, okay, let's make it simpler because the audience might not get it. Um, he always respected the audience and he taught us as writers to do the same and um, you know uh, he was also probably um, the most gifted and prolific producer of our time and he was a great teacher he was really a great te and remains a great teacher um, he loves holding court in a room in fact if you were to ask Stephen where he gets his best ideas um, it would be in a room full of people. Uh, he, a certain kind of adrenaline kicks in when he gets a bit of an audience. We work in completely different ways. I would prefer to have his, but uh, for example, if, I'm, if, I, if I reach a block in a story and a, I'm having trouble um, breaking a, a plot point or a storyline, uh, I have to throw everybody out of the room, put the walls up of the story, get inside the story, get inside the characters, and the answer will come to me. Um, Stephen's just the opposite. If he's having trouble with um, a, a plot line or a story point, get as many people into that room as you can because give him an audience. He knows he's going to kick it up a gear in terms of his mental acuity, and he does, and then it, out comes the brilliance. But uh, the joy of that, if you work for him, you're in the room when he, when, and you get to witness his, his process. Um, so through observation, through osmosis, uh, just being around him, it can only improve your skills as a producer and a storyteller. So I was very lucky in that regard. Um, writers aren't really... Um, always known for their communicative skills in a room. They may be very good with a pen or a typewriter or a laptop, but just uh, being able to communicate on a personal level with people in a room, um, not always great. And some of our best producers are not terribly gifted in that area, but Stephen is. He's a wonderful communicator with his uh, underlings, and uh, if you get a chance to to work with him or for him, it's it's a very lucky break, and it's probably the luckiest break I got in Moving West. We got along very well. I think he probably, uh, he must have thought I could write, because otherwise I wouldn't have stayed long. He did not suffer fools or mediocre writers very well. We had a kind of an open door policy the first year of L.A. Law. If, if the scripts were not good, the door was open and you'd meet people coming in, you'd meet others going out. Um, turns out by halfway through the first year we had a, a, a great staff and a very cohesive staff. But he must have thought I could write. I think he was uh, uh, probably impressed or grateful that I was a lawyer. Um, so I could bring off as, uh, some authenticity to the to the forum, um, and I was I was probably a little bolder and a little braver um, than I should have been as as a young kid, a young writer. Um, most young people tend to be that way, but with that boldness um, came a willingness to take chances, and I would probably take flying leaps with my writing, and uh, I think he quite loved that. He was there as the, as the net, so no, you're, you're going to bloody your nose with that one, so I won't let you have that. But other jumps, um, he, he might have seen something more positive and said, just, just keep leaping. Um, so uh, he was my safety net. At some point when I left him, okay, I, I had to jump out the net a little bit, but um, but it was a good relationship. It, it always was, and um, you know, I, as I said, it was a, it was very fortunate that I, I got him to be my very first boss. What's the most important thing you learned from him? 
um, take care of the script, the script, the script, the script, the script, um, and um, don't settle for, um, you know, it's pretty good, that's good enough. If you can make it better, make it better. Um, makes the job tougher, and, and doing uh, 22 hours of, of, of television dramas where a new script is due every eight or nine days, um, and, and while you're writing a new one, you're rewriting the old one, and you may be you know, doing new scenes for one that you had already shot to pick up. So it's, uh, it, it's a lot of work. And uh, if you don't uh, come in with a mindset um, to strive for excellence, then um, it's probably going to be tougher to suck it up to do that work. And, and Stephen was very good about establishing that mindset on LA Law, with as with all his shows, and it's something I've tried to live up to with with mine.